So as y'all know, I've been telling my story with trauma and things like that. But um, this is mom on here trying to fight for justice of her baby girl, Zariah. She was five. She went to go stay with her godmom and ended up unalive. Jenquisha Galloway, I think that's how you say her name. Yeah, because we not we not doing that. We just gonna call a spade a spade every time. Um that's the girl's name. I feel like there's some accountability that needs to be had. This girl was basically doing the most and as a result that baby is no longer here. I'm gonna drop the clip and I'm gonna tag the mom. Go over there, support her. Don't be too tough because, you know, sometimes people fall on bad time and you think that you got friends out here, but they be your biggest haters. And they do fuck you over. And sometimes they do it through your children. Hey, y'all. So, I'm Zariah's auntie. This is her mom, Zasia. And we just wanted to get on here to clear up the whole story real quick and tell everybody what was going on. So... And about August, like the end of the summertime, Jaquisha had been asking to get Zariah, because she was her godmom at the time, so she was asking to get Zariah to take her on little outings and um, different events and stuff. So it had started earing, nearing the time for Zariah to go to school, so they both agreed that Zariah would go to Jaquisha's custody so uh, she can get signed up for school and, you know, she could be staying there because she was in between placements, so... They thought it was in the best interest of Zariah for her to go to Jaquisha's house. So um, they went to court, and when they went to court, they filed for Jaquisha to get temporary custody, not full custody. She was only supposed to get temporary custody. I'm going to show y'all. So. Hold on. I don't know how y'all can see. All right. Can you shut up? We'll, we'll flip the camera. We'll show all the, the evidence and everything in another TikTok. So, we filed for her to get temporary custody. And at the end of August, my niece was SA'd by somebody that Jaquisha had her around and had her associated with whatever. After that happened, a week later, Jaquisha went back to the court secretly to file for full custody of my niece so she wouldn't be able to tell her story and tell what happened to her. This, with this... This paperwork just don't have this don't even have my signature. There's no signature There's no from her signature mom on there, so how does she get custody? This is not my handwriting fools. Y'all just see my handwriting on this. This and this two different two documents. documents. Two different people. So after Jinquisha filed for her to get full custody, I don't know, some way it was slipped through the cracks that Jinquisha was allowed to put her own address for Zay's address. So now that mail was sent from the court was getting sent to Jaquisha's address for Zay. So she told her like, hey, you got some mail or whatever. She said, I'm going to come pick it up. She said, no, I have to serve you in court. We're like, serve her in court for what? The letter was telling her about the court date. So how would you serve me in court if I never knew about a court date? So after she got the mail, um, I mean, after the court date was established and she didn't show up because she didn't know about a court date, Full custody was granted to Jaquisha. I'm so mad by this. I can't even um record this video because what? What? My heart breaks for this woman because it wasn't even like she just left her kid with her friend and went to turn up on a Tuesday. She was literally going to get her stuff together literally going to get her stuff together and this wasn't no random friend this was her kids god mom and her friend asked for the asked for her daughter but this just goes to show the same mind that controls those lips that wishes you well wishes also controls them them hands that are in the back She ended up finding out because the courts eventually reached out to her like, hey, by the way, your baby is not, no longer here. 
So that whole time she was reaching out to her friend trying to get her baby back. Her baby was no longer here anymore. No longer here. This woman said that it was just too much to tell her. That woman went down to the courts and told them that her mom and dad wasn't around no more. So the courts allowed this woman to cremate her child. She was, what's her name, Jenquisha? Jen Jen she was just doing the most. And she made that baby suffer. I hope this mama get whatever she want out of out of this situation. And our government trash as fuck for that because the ones that are trying, they give them hell. But the raggedy ones, they give them whatever the fuck they want. I just don't understand it. I don't. Because that, with that pain that that woman is going through, don't go over on her page on some negative stuff. I'm going to tag her, though. Sometimes people fall on hard times and they need a little bit of help. And she did, but that woman asked to keep her kid and she ain't see a problem with it because that was her child's godmama. Don't do too much on her. She already going through enough. Go over there, say some kind words, encouragement. She got a she got a tough battle ahead. Don't do too much on her. It's hard to be a mother.